Welcome, 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 welcome to the Wrestling Realm Presents Championship Culture. I'm Brandon the Guy Guy, and remember, every belt has a story. Now, before we dive into today's content, just want to remind you of a few quick things. Did you know that you can watch any of the Wrestling Realm content at any time just by going to youtube.com slash the Wrestling Realm? You can follow us on all social media platforms, which include Instagram, X, and Facebook, just by using at the Wrestling Realm. You can also stream and download all of our audio content at Stitcher, Podbeam, Anchor, Pocket Cast, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. And you can watch and subscribe to our Twitch channel at The Rest of the Room. And if you're going to any kind of concert, or if you want to pick up and save a couple dollars on any kind of sported events, head over to SeatGeek.com and use the code Wrestling Realm, and that'll save you $20 on anything over $50 or more. So what is today's content about? Let me give you a snippet bit of it. So as you can see, I'm gonna highlight a maker today. And you got to see one of the belts earlier on. So this belt, I believe that every person that knows anything about wrestling, any kind of belt collector, anybody that does anything with wrestling will one, recognize that belt, and two, probably want that belt in that collection. Of course, it's the big gold. That was the first belt that I received from this maker, and it was kind of a weird story how I got it. I received a third hand from a person that was in possession of it, and I purchased it from them. So it's kind of called a middleman. So as in previous episode of Championship Culture, we talked about what the middleman were. But what was unique about this belt, it had the brown strap and it just looked good just for the videos I had seen. The price was unbeatable. And when I got it, I was blown away. So I was like, oh, what else does this band do? So then that started going me down, you know, trying to figure out what's next, what's next. The guys at the restaurant I'm always say, I'm always up to something. But oftentimes I do upgrade my belt. But the belt I want to spotlight today is the AEW International Championship. What was crazy about this belt is when it became the All Atlantic, I was kind of like drawn to it. It kind of was like, oh, a new, different design, a unique design, a unique name. Oh, another other belt, not necessarily a secondary belt, but another belt. So I started looking and looking and looking. So found a maker, not the same maker that could make it. When I received it, it was stacked on the side, a little heavier than what I was used to. And then lo and behold, not even a week later after we received the All Atlantic belt, um, Tony Khan changed the name to the International belt. So of course, me being a belt collector, I'm like, do I really wanna get an International belt? Well, Artistic Championship belts was offering up a good sale. And when I see a good sale, I believe this belt was only $200 for a four millimeter zinc belt. So what did I do? I hopped on it, made my initial payment, waited for it to get closer done, made the final payment, and lo and behold, I got an international belt. Take a look at some of these pictures and we're gonna compare the two. I can tell you right now, the camera does this belt no justice. For it being four millimeter single layer, it actually has the proper weight, the proper dimensions. It just feels great when you hold it. The thing that I love the most about the belt 
the strap is pretty accurate. It has the AEW logos on the side. The thing about it is it's only single layer. It's not raised like the other one. The color, I'm not for sure if it's the right color blue or if it's dark or lighter, but it looks pretty TV accurate to me. And I did something different. I actually got red croc backing on the back of mine. This maker does an awesome job when it comes to etching. You can also, you can see the glare hitting it. It just looks like close to a replica, as you see. It kinda looks like it did when Orange Cassidy would just hold it or anybody was holding it on TV. So when I immediately got this belt, it put my All Atlantic to shame. And when you find a good maker that can actually do the deep etching, even the stones are sparkling. Sometimes they use cheaper stones. His quality is definitely there. You'll hear people talk about the leather test. The leather is extremely floppy. It feels good. It doesn't, it can actually bend and you actually will get a chance to actually hold it like, you know, how they say championships are supposed to be held. It folds down very well. So it, it passes that folding test. So that way, if you want to just carry it like this, like they say, you're supposed to hold a championship or if you want to hold it out. So that way you see all the plates you can. It's hard to find a maker that gets so many things right. And this maker definitely gets, he checks all the boxes. The weight, the size, the look, the feel, the leather being smooth, the snap box having the AEW indentation on it. Um, I couldn't find many flaws on this belt. Sometimes when you look at a belt, you say, oh, this is not accurate, oh, this is not accurate. But to be honest with you, for me not seeing an AEW All Atlantic or a international belt, I feel like this one is more accurate. Yes, I have two of them. I'm gonna keep the other one. The blue is a little lighter and it's stacked on the side, but if I was gonna carry one to a show, this will definitely be my default belt to carry. I can't say enough about this belt. If you're thinking about purchasing a belt, you might wanna head over to his Facebook page. Actually, let me show you what page you can go to and some of the steps for you. Another thing that I love about this maker, you can choose your backing. And not a lot of makers give you that option or when they do, they'll charge you a ridiculous amount more. So you might get a belt that's on sale for, let's say 244 millimeters ink. By the time you add a belt tip, uh, different color backing, and let's say if you want a, I don't know, um, carrying bag or something like that, you might be closer to the 300s. And if you're not getting a WWE belt, sometimes you gotta shop around. I always say if you want a WWE belt, go to the shop. But any other um, belt, it is best to go to the maker. So in this case, when I got this belt, I was looking and I was like, ooh, I wonder what color backing would be kind of cool. So of course, I'm gonna show you the backing first. I did this blue kind of, it's hard to describe, backing and it just makes the belt pop. So when I show you the front of the belt, it's kind of weird why I got this, but it's the trio belt. And I kind of wanted to do something different with it because I had the option. As you can see, the leather is extremely floppy on this belt. It has a belt, oops, wrong side. It actually has a belt tip. And what I love when makers that make belts, when they put their stamp on the end of the belt. But let me show you some more in-depth pictures and then I'll be right back. Overall, I just wanted to take a second and actually give you a idea of what artistic belts do. If you need to get in contact with them because of the time change and time difference, this is when I would actually recommend going through the middleman. His name is Lewis Phillips on Facebook. I'll post his Facebook page on here so that way if you need to contact him, he can be the direct link to the belt maker because sometimes the translation might be a little off or sometimes just getting things squared away, understanding or knowing when to contact the belt maker is important to use a belt man. Just like Ben Walker stated on a previous episode of Championship Culture. But I can say nothing but good things about 
this maker. I can say nothing but good things about the price. Um, there was a special here recently, and I know a couple people in the Bell community took advantage of it. Four millimeter um, single plates with 190. And for $190, if you can jump on one of these belts, I would jump on them in a heartbeat. For the simple fact, you can just see how deep the etching is in this belt, just from it holding my shoulder. The ring light camera is hitting it at the right moments. The stones, most makers kind of seem like they use different quality of stones. I'm not gonna say bad quality, I'm just gonna say different quality because there are some really good belts that I have made. You see them behind me, but I can tell you this one is uh, 10 out of 10. There is no other way to say it. This maker is spot on. I believe that if you really, really, really want a belt and you really like undecided, it's gonna take anywhere from 20 to 30 days to get. And now this is just when I've only ordered single layers, but definitely reach out to them. Uh, mention championship culture so that way they know where it's coming from and get you a belt. If you're really thinking about something like a non WWE belt, that's the perfect place to go. So there you have it folks, there's a maker spotlight, there's more to come, and this is only three of the belts that I have from them. Don't worry, I'll be able to show off the other ones and you'll be surprised what the other one is. So remember, every belt has a story and I can't wait to hear yours.